right, so let's go over linear inequalities. So like equalities, there will be a left-hand side and a right-hand side, except there will not be an equal sign between them. There will be one of these inequality signs. So we have the first one is less than. That means that whatever number goes here is less than the number that goes on the right side. So an example would be 3 less than 4. And then the greater than sign, same concept, but the left-hand side would be greater than the right-hand side. And less than or equal to means that the number on the left can be less than the number on the right or equal to. So it's valid to say that 4 is less than or equal to 4, and 4 is greater than or equal to 4, which is what this sign is. So using these inequality signs, we can write linear inequalities, such as 4x minus 2 is less than or equal to 7. And so to solve this, you would solve it as you would solve a regular linear, linear equality. So you would add 2 on both sides, and you would get 4x is less than or equal to 9. And now to solve for that x, we would divide by 4, divide by 4. And so we get x is less than or equal to 9 over 4. And now we can... Uh, we, we know that any x value less than 9 over 4 or equal to 9 over 4 would satisfy this inequality. So let's try it out and test. So what's a number that's less than 9 over 4? Let's try 0. So if we plug in 0 for x, we get this equal to negative 2, which is less than 7. And we can even try 1. Let's try 1. So 4 times 1 minus 2 equals 2, which is less than 7. So these numbers work. And you can try rational numbers like uh, 2 fourths or irrational numbers like pi, and they would still work if it's less than 9 over 4. Now, two linear inequalities can have some of the same solutions, which is not the same for equalities. So if I have another linear inequality that has this range, x is less than or equal to 9 over 4, then they have some of the same solutions. So let's try one out, where we would have, uh, let's try negative 3x plus 5 is less than 15. But before that, there's a special rule that you need to know for inequalities, and I'll write that over here. The rule is that when you divide or multiply by a negative number, so divide or multiply by a negative number, you will need to switch the sign. So you need to switch the sign. So I'll give you an example. Let's try uh, 4x is less than or equal to negative 7. If we divide by 4, divide by 4, we get x is less than or equal to negative 7 over 4. So that's a regular way, but what if we have negative 4x is less than or equal to negative 7? If we divide by negative 4, we get x is greater than or equal to 7 over 4. So there are two different solution sets. So when you divide or multiply by a negative number, flip the sign. Great, so now let's go back to this problem. All right, so let's solve. We would subtract 5 on both sides, and we would get negative 3x is less than 10. And if we divide by negative 3, we have to flip the sign. So x is greater than 10, um, negative 10 over 3. Okay, so let's try that out. If we have x equals... 5, then that should satisfy this equation. So if we plug in 5, then we get negative 3 times 5 plus 5. That, what does that equal? That equals uh, negative 15 plus 5, which is negative 10. And that is less than 15, so that works out. And we can graph these solutions using a number line. So if we draw a number line and put 0 in the middle, and this number line is for all x values, we can say that the solution set is all x, va x values less than negative 10 over 3. So if negative 10 over 3 is here, then the solutions would be all the ones that are actually greater than negative 10 over 3. So all the ones that are greater than negative 10 over 3 would be all of these uh, points here. Okay, so that's what it means. To draw the solution set means to graph it on a number line and shade in the area that makes this uh, inequality true. Let's try another example. So we have... Let's try it here. So we have um, x plus 3 is less than 7. So we would get, if we subtract 3 on both sides, that x is less than 4. And we would graph that on a number line, first by drawing 0 and then the point 4. 
So if x is less than 4, it's every point less than 4, so all of these to the left. And we can have different solutions where x would be between two numbers. So those problems will look like a compound inequality. So these are compound inequalities, and the way these look like um, is, you know these are compound inequalities if they have three parts. So let's look at an example. Let's try um, negative 3 is less than or equal to 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 5. That means that this equation here is between, is greater than or equal to negative 3 and less than or equal to 5. Great, so how do we solve this? We would solve it like we would usually do, except whatever operation we do, we do it on all three sides. So if we add 1, we would add 1 on all three sides, and so we get negative 2 is less than or equal to 2x less than or equal to uh, 6. And now we would divide by 2 on every side. So then what do we get? We have, um, we have 1, or negative 1 is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3. So now this is our solution since we have x. And we would graph this similarly. So we would write the number line, draw it out, put 0 as usual, and negative 1 is here, that's one endpoint, and 3 is here uh, at another endpoint. And so the solution set be, would be between the two. So x is greater than or equal to negative 1, but less than or equal to 3. And since it's equal to, you need to fill it in with a uh, solid circle. So next we'll try problems with inequalities.